Our story today is called, What About Me? And it's by Emily Johnson. And the illustrations are by Spike McGuire. What About Me? Here's our title page. Something new is about to happen to this boy. What do you think? Between the cover and the title page, what might be happening? Let's see if you were right. When I was staying at Grandma's house, the doorbell rang at three. Hello, Benji, said my parents, walking in and hugging me. Three me or rhyming words. They had something in a blanket. It was gurgly and pink. Well said, Mommy, showing me. What do you think? Pink. Think. What do you think? Is in this blanket that is gurgly. I'll show you what was in the blanket. A baby. And if it's pink, a lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of times, and they used to say girls wear pink and boys wear blue, but I think colors are for everyone. <clears throat> but this happens to be a little girl. Daddy said, this is Bonnie. She's your baby sister. You're her big brother, he added. Then dad bent down and kissed her. I don't want a sister, I cried. When is she going back? Mummy and daddy smiled and said, it doesn't work like that. When a baby sister or brother comes into your family, we don't get to send them back. After that, strange things began to happen during the night. There were footsteps in the hall and clicking on and off of the light. What do you think those strange things were. Whose footsteps did they he did he hear in the hall? Probably mom and dad. And why would the lights go on and off? They had to check on the baby. What kind of things do you have to do for a baby in the middle of the night? Think about that. Think about how you take care of a baby maybe. You might have to feed them or change them. Maybe they wake up from a bad dream, just like you have bad dreams. Babies can have bad dreams as well, and they get scared. So mommies and daddies have to go up, get up and check on them. Mom and dad were always leaning over Bonnie's cot. They made soft sighing sounds and cooed and ooed a lot. It was Bonnie this and Bonnie that. Nobody noticed me at all. I felt like I was invisible, even when I did cartwheels down the hall. Night after night, I lay awake, thinking in my bed. Then suddenly, a plan began to form inside my head. Bed. Head. Sure, the rhyming word. he feeling right now? It's a word that starts with a J. J, J. If you said jealous, you were right. He's feeling a little jealous. 
why do you think he's feeling jealous? Because mom and dad are spending so much time with the baby, with the baby. Babies need lots of care, right? They can't do anything for themselves. So do you think that they don't love him anymore? Oh, parents always love their children. I think mom and dad notice me. I amuse, delight, transfix, but no one seemed to notice my special magic tricks. I tried juggling and singing, even ballet dancing too. All that mummy said was, what's gotten into you? To you. After another night of screaming, I pulled open my closet door. I dragged out the dressing up box and flung everything onto the floor. I put on my red mask and my superhero cape. Then I dived into the hallway to make a daring escape. Cape, escape. If he's going to make a daring escape, what do you think he might be planning to do? He might be planning to run away. I raced along the carpet, but I tripped over the cat. Meow, meow, he went as he hissed, and he spat, cat, Bat. What's that called, Dad, from behind the bedroom door? Very carefully, I slunk away along the hallway floor. Door, floor, sure. Down the stairs, one by one, like a superhero, I crept. I almost made it to the bottom when suddenly I stepped on my skateboard and landed thump, bump, crash. Mom's best flower vase toppled, toppled over with a smash. We have lots of rhyming words on this page. We have crept, stepped, thump, bump, and crash, smash. Lots of rhyming words. I hurried back upstairs. Quick march at the double. I knew that the next day I'd really be in double trouble. I didn't want to get up when next morning came. Then from downstairs, my dad called my name, came, name. Do you think he's going to be in trouble? Let's see. I was sure mom and dad would be angry, but they were smiling instead. Don't worry, Benji. We know you've been feeling left out, they said. They were throwing a party that was all about me. After all, I was a very important part of our family. How do you think he's feeling now? Here is the end, and there is a picture with his mom and dad and him holding that new baby that he wanted to send back, and he has a smile on his face. Sometimes we get excited when we know we're getting baby brothers or sisters 
or even some of you get excited when you're getting cousins. But then when they come, we feel a little bit left out. But rest assured, your parents always love you. And even though they have to spend a lot of time with the baby, they never stop loving you. Talk to you later. Bye.